your citizenship test has been scheduled. Come on over and do your test in about two weeks. I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Did I study? Have I studied? <gasps> Have I studied enough? So now I'm like studying, 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 trying to remember everything. And for the life of me, I'm so out of touch with being a student that I'm like struggling to read through the entire book. Now it's interesting information like to learn about citizenship and know when it's confederation. Like I before now didn't understand what Canada Day was. I was like, is it independence? Like independence day? What is it? But now I know. It was the day Canada became Canada. Because it wasn't Canada before, it was Canada. Duh. So, wonderful history and information on Canada that it's, it's necessary to know this stuff. Now, of course, during studying, I'm like, I bet Canadians don't even know this. And I am going to have a segment called, Are You More Canadian Than a Canadian? Because I know that some of these questions actual born Canadians who went to school here, learned Canadian history, don't know these questions or the answers to these questions. And I'm gonna prove it to y'all. But fine, no worries. I'll know about Canada. No worries, no worries. So, you know, you study for the test, you do a lot of practice tests online, and that's actually what I did for the majority. Now, I cannot say to you, well, this is the question that came on the test, right? It's, it's copyrighted information and it could it could be bad for me to say, well, this is the kind of questions I got. But I went online and did a lot of practice questions. There are a lot of resources out there, right? Of course, they say to you that the citizenship test study guide or the citizenship study guide that they provide to you called Discover Canada is the official like material that you should use to prepare for the test. Anything you use outside of that is at your own risk. And all the information that you need is really in that book. Um, and the test will help to reinforce that information in terms of practice tests online because they create the practice test based on the information in that book, right? But I just used those tests as resources to help me study because there's stuff available online from libraries and such. Read through the book, kind of. I, what I did was actually like listen to the information while reading the book so that I get to speed read, you know, that's audio training. So that was very helpful in helping me to prepare. Was I nervous? Yes, because I'm like, I don't want to get anything wrong. Like, I'm not even worried about failing. I'm worried about getting something wrong. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I got one question wrong and I don't know what question it is. Initially, I thought I knew what it was. When I checked it, I'm like, no, that's the answer that I put. So that's not the wrong one. So what did I get wrong? But why focus on the one that you got wrong versus the 19 that you got right? And the fact that you're still gonna be a citizenship, I don't know, it's from childhood. I remember I got like a report card once and I got like 95, 90 something, 90 something, 90 something, then 83 or something like that. And my daddy was like, so why do we get 83 or so? So I'm like, daddy, you don't see the rest of the 90 of them, why I focus on the 83? He said, no, the rest of the 90 of them, clearly those are fine. Why do we get age three years? So why we never get 90? And then another time I got like 97 on like this. I think it was art or something. Why we never get 100? <laughs> so I'm like, your socialization has a lot to do with it it, it. it it spills over into your adulthood. And I was obsessed with the one that I got wrong. Oh my gosh. But it's fine. Whatever. It's wrong. I'm still in the clear and I'm happy. Um, so, you know, tap into your online forum and it doesn't even matter if citizenship, it could be permanent residency, it could be any current kind of application. That Canada Visa online website has forums with tons of people who are all in the same boat as you and who have, who will give you a shoulder to cry on 
or at least a comfortable pillow to rest your head on because they're like i haven't heard anything yet have you heard anything right and i took comfort in that from the very beginning when i was applying for permanent residency years ago so jump into that forum it might be helpful for you subscribe to our channel and do all that wonderful stuff to help you to build a community around yourself so you can sleep at night because it's serious it's for real so yeah processing time i'm still waiting for my citizenship oath letter but that's fine they said that it will come in about may and june july which is very specific okay it could be may or june or july okay great um but that's fine i'm patiently waiting and i'm happy that i'm basically like zeroed the game you know i'm gonna have a bit emoji like dancing on here like who is a video game player or who is a gamer and played like need for speed or god of war or some black ops game or anything and you beat the master at the end whoever played mario and beat bowser at the end or catch all the pokemon them or something is a good feeling because you're just like the finish line we are the champions my friends mm -mm. we'll keep on fighting to the end yes so super excited super happy about that so the application itself is actually a little bit unbelievably simple there's a checklist online and I'm not going to go through the checklist because things change over time and I don't want you to think that, well, this is a checklist. So once I have all these things, it's good. No, this was a checklist that applied to the time when I applied, but things can change. So at the time in August of 2018, it was a super simple checklist of things that you have to compile, like your English test, like your passport, like your... It was so simple i don't i think that was it <laughs> identification your pr card it was a small small application smaller than your permanent resident application smaller than your spousal application smaller than your, or maybe comparable to your visa application except you don't even need a police record for real unless during the time when you were eligible for citizenship you went and lived in some other country for a consecutive 100 no not consecutive total of 183 or 186 days that's the only time you need a, a police record but outside of that you don't even need a police record so it's even simpler than a visa student visa application because i mean of course at, at this point they have everything about you so it's just like what else do i need fill out the form submit your thing and you just wait and maybe soon from now they will have an online application process for this right now it's just a paper application you submit it you can link it online i didn't do that i just go into ecas and see what's going on is it updated is anything wrong and right now it says decision made and the officer when i was at the center where i took the test said i have no problems with the application you should get your oath letter in the mail soon so i check the mail like every day you know how it is <laughs> so that's what's going on after the test now, of course, is when you wait, you do your citizenship swearing in ceremony. Do you get your passport there? No, you get a certificate of citizenship and then you apply for your passport afterwards. So that's what I'm looking forward to then next and looking forward to getting that done. Yes. What am I looking forward to having now that I'm a citizen? One, I never have to apply for another Schengen are african are no other visa in my life yes i can just get up and say oh i'm going to australia today and just go i don't have to apply i've applied for an australian visa and legit we never even get the visa in time to go where we we're supposed to go it was like you're applying like september the place where i go in october and we never get here back from there till march of the next year so now i can just get up and say i'm going i don't have to apply for a visa i don't have to go to another embassy now there are some countries that you know you need to apply for a visa for when well, no, i got them country there simple simple very simple so that's one thing no more visa application processes yes 
two, I can vote. I've never really been able to vote. I've been able to vote in my own country, but I've never, um, I wasn't, I left right after school. I wasn't, there was no election at the time, whatever. So I didn't vote. Um, so you can vote. That's fun. You know, you get to decide the fate of the country, even though you're one in a million. Yes. And you get a multicultural pass to go to a lot of the culturally assimilated, I don't know what to call him. So a lot of cool places in Canada, like the Royal Ontario Museum, like some other cool places. You get free access to them for a year to go and be Canadian, to go and assimilate yourself into the Canadian culture a little bit more. So that's very exciting because then I get to show you through my eyes all these wonderful things and I'm looking forward to showing you guys that stuff. So that is my spiel on Canadian citizenship. Looking forward to that. And of course, as always guys, I appreciate each and every one of you who has subscribed, who has watched, who has liked, who has shared, who has followed us on Facebook, Instagram, and who has asked us questions. I owe you guys a question and answer video, so you guys will have that very soon. But keep on sharing, liking, commenting, asking questions. Keep on being encouraged. I know sometimes it can feel very daunting because you're not hearing anything or you just don't know what's gonna happen because it's been rejected. Just keep the faith and be encouraged and just look forward to being able to tell a story afterwards. Just look forward to telling a victorious story afterwards because there's no movie out there that you've ever watched that is dream, victory. It's There's dream, there's struggle, 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 and you come out victorious at the end. So no matter what right now, if it's an application process, if it's just life, I'm sure everybody right now is going through things in their life. Everybody has some pain area in their life. It could be immigration, it could be relationship, it could be finances, it could be your family, it could be your job, it could be your career, it could be your health. Just struggle through it with the hope and the encouragement and the knowing that at the end you're going to be victorious. At the end you're going to be able to look back and say, you can't believe I made it a frick and a cry and a worry about them somewhere. Because, yeah. So as cliche as, as it might sound, keep the faith, guys. Keep on holding on and just believe that there's a victory soon, very close to the horizon. Thanks for watching. Looking forward to sharing way more with you guys. I appreciate everybody and have a good whatever today is, night, day, week, whatever. See you in the next video.